Let's start with two top 25 matchups beginning in Elon as the Phoenix will host JMU on flowfootball.com. And Rob, there are a lot of storylines going into this one. Where do you even start when it comes to storylines in this game? First, it's a rematch of last year's epic showdown in Harrisonburg where the Phoenix knocked off the Dukes 27-24, ending JMU's 20-game conference winning streak. It's also the return to Elon for new JMU head coach, Kurt Signetti, who guided the Phoenix to back-to-back -back playoff appearances in his two years at the school and will go up against his former defensive coordinator, Tony Trishiani. But all that no outside noise aside, it's a big matchup of two nationally ranked teams who each have their sights set on a CAA championship. JMU has won three straight since that season opening set back at West Virginia and has outscored its opponents 144-33 during that stretch. Quarterback Ben DiNucci is completing 74% of his passes and has thrown seven TDs in his last three games. And his pool of talent, talented receivers got even deeper last week with the return of Riley Stapleton, who made five catches in the win over Chattanooga. Duke can also move it on the ground with Percy O.J. Obese rushing for a career-high 114 yards and two scores against the Mox. Now, the Duke's defense hasn't given up more than 337 yards in a game all year and is allowing just 13 points per contest. Defensive end Rondell Carter has a league-high six tackles for loss and five quarterback hurries. Now, Elon's 2-2 two two after a very challenging early season schedule and needs to rebound from a 49-7 setback at Wake Forest last week. Quarterback Davis Teak has thrown eight touchdown passes this season and hasn't been picked off in his last 209 attempts. Top target Cortez Weeks has 15 receptions and has found the end zone in all three games he's played. Now, the Phoenix ran for 212 yards in last year's win over the Dukes, and the trio of Jalen Thomas, Sean McNair, and Breland Cyphers will try to replicate that effort. Defensively, a big key in last year's win was Elon's ability to put pressure on the quarterback as they recorded five sacks. It will be interesting to see if Marcus Willoughby and company are able to do that again.